Hey there, this is just a quick look at decorations. So we want to put uh, particular components on the map, a north arrow, grid, scale bar, that sort of thing. Um, perhaps an image logo uh, that remain on the map on our canvas um, whenever we um, are using the mapping system. So I'm in the UK here near Tadcaster, there's Battle of Toten there, that um, Towton, that um, uh, green polygon. Uh, and I just want to put a grid on top to give me um, some uh, further spatial reference. And um, you do this under view and you see decorations. So it literally is decorating your map. You know, these aren't clickable items off the map, off the canvas. Uh, you, you customize them. So I click on grid. Uh, I'll enable the grid. Uh, it's currently 4,000 meters by 4,000 uh, meters. So uh, I can choose a line symbol, whatever I like. And uh, but let's just do apply. And, th and there you have it. So it's very quick to get a grid up, really, really quick and easy. So it's not a feature, these aren't features, these aren't clickable. This is, like I said, decoration. What about having some uh, coordinates uh, across the x-axis there? So I draw annotation across the horizontal. Uh, let's click on font. Um, actually, if we just do that, you can see it's put the um, horizontally printing the um, uh, values. Uh, what I can do is just put a background on it, maybe. Show up a bit better. Anyway, you, you, you get the drift. You can just do whatever, whatever um, customization of the fonts, etc., that you want. So the, the point being, as you zoom in on the map, you, you'll still get the grid. As I move the map, grid is there. You'll, you'll still see the, the uh, values, the grid reference there. As I click out. Uh, OK, so that's the grid. How do you turn off? You decorations, go to grid, and just remove enable. See, there it goes. Uh, another option on decorations, scale bar, enable scale bar. Uh, let's do a bar one, and uh, yeah, we can do it on the bottom center there. Uh, let's just accept the defaults. Um, you know, I'm not going to spend all day on it. Um, press OK, uh, apply. OK, and you see there's the um, scale bar. And as I zoom out, the scale bar does, of course, change. And wherever I am on the map, the scale bar remains fixed to the bottom uh, of the screen there. Let's do another decoration. Let's put a north arrow in. Let's enable it. Why not put it in the, yep, top left is fine. Let's just leave the defaults again. Just play as you wish. And there you see the, the uh, north arrow again. As I move the map, north arrow remains. And the scale bar is on there as well. And then on decorations, uh, let's finally, we can do a copyright label and, um, uh, and a sort of title across the top of the screen. Now let's do that, enable title. So that's my um, interest. Um, yeah, top center is fine. And uh, font, let's do a bit of, yeah, this, is, this is all fine. Let's just increase that a bit. Okay, uh, add a little background on there as well. So the, 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 the title will remain there as well. And then finally, finally, is the uh, is some kind of image. So what you can do is lock an image on the screen. Again, it's like sort of branding, uh, that sort of thing. Again, I'll just accept the defaults, but we could click on the ellipsis dots there and go off and load something. Uh, this is actually an SVG. Uh, you could use just JPEG, PNG, that sort of thing, but SVG is, is perfectly respectable. Press OK. And there's the um, QGIS um, SVG file. So now you can see I've got a, um, let's call it a decorated map. And just for the for fun, let's put the grid back on. Uh, we won't let it work. There you go. You see? Anyway, I hope, that, I hope you find that useful. Thank you.